The whales have returned. It's time for us to honor their spirit. Without them, we could not protect ourselves from the north wind. <laughs> Last, the port of San Juan. My journey is nearing its end, and soon I will be the most powerful man on Earth. For I, Athanasius, have discovered one of the world's greatest and best guarded secrets. The legend of the North Wind. <laughs> Captain's Log, today the San Juan sails for Newfoundland. There we will renew our pact of alliance against the North Wind with our Micmac friends. As is customary, we'll be bringing <laughs> ceremonial cider. Make way, make way! Ahoy! Ceremonial cider coming through! And stop screaming and tell me what's ahead! I can't see a thing! Ah. Not a thing on the horizon, Captain! <laughs> Wait, I think I see a whale off the starboard bow. Which way uh, is starboard? Uh, uh, <laughs> There's another one! Uh, 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 hope there aren't any more obstacles! Mackerel! Get your fresh mackerel! <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Oh, Sharpa, you're no use to me! Unless my co-pirate knows how to scare off innocent people, we're gonna starve! We're flat broke, and it's all your fault because you can't roar! It's unheard of for a pirate not to roar! Now, try to scare me, or you'll walk the plank! <laughs> You're a disgrace to the profession! It sounds like you swallowed a sea urchin! I want you to roar like a foghorn, you big dumb skull! Listen and learn. <laughs> so you're mad at me, huh? Sorry, my old friend. All I'm asking you for is one good roar. See? It's easy when you put your mind to it. Here, let's toast to our success. But not too fast. It's the good stuff. From that French vessel. <laughs> Haven't I taught you never to trust a pirate? <laughs> You'll never learn. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh. Huh, you drank my cider, you mangy traitor! Oh, you won't get away from me! Oh, come here, you! I'll tie you for mutiny! Oh! 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 I'll show you what happens to those who dare to mutiny against Barnaby! Hey, what's that? No! 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 No!
Pretty rough landing you had, sailors, but you've delivered the cider on time, and that's what counts. We couldn't start our voyage without it. Three full barrels. And I'm certain you were especially careful getting here. It's a heavy load. You must have had to go very slowly through the village. You must have worked hard to keep it under control all the way down. We did. That almost got boring, you know. I'm sure we won't be receiving any complaints from the villagers. And I can set sail knowing that everything is in harmony, hey, children? There are two minor matters. Told ya Martin's kids were behind it. Neptune's daughters! You're being sought after by two charming young mermaids. Uh, let's pretend we're not here. Huh? Yeah! Lulubelle! There's her up now. That, that's it. A little, little to the left there. Move that there. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's, that's good. Pirates! They're trying to bring a secret weapon onto our deck! They want to take over our vessel and peel for our hard-earned treasure! But I won't let them! Oh no! I won't allow it! I am adventurous and great defender of the cider on guard! <laughs> That's a fine way to bring up children. You fill their heads with fantasies and look what happens. We won't tolerate these shenanigans anymore. You better duck, Martin. Do you hear? <clears throat> Ladies, there must be some misunderstanding. You all right, Martin? These ladies are right, you know. I haven't given you all the discipline that you might need. Perhaps I Take tell you stories, let you play your <laughs> sailor games too much. But what is life without imagination, <gasps> eh? When I was your age, uh -huh. I too dreamt of being a mighty sea captain, living a fine life of adventure, exploring the seven What's seas. What's happening here? What are you doing, Martin? Uh -huh. <clears throat> captain, I was just showing Elliot here uh, how to clean the decks to a glorious shine for you. <laughs> Is everything ready for the voyage? We've nearly got it, sir. We only need to load the last of the supplies. Very well, then. Just make sure everything is done correctly. We can't run a vessel without discipline. I need my answer today, Mr. Blackburn. This can't fail. I'll get hold of the sacred vase which shows the route to the secret Bay of Wales. This will make you enormously rich. How could you refuse? It's the deal of the century, and I'm offering it to you first, sir. Fantasies, Mr. Athanasius, do not interest me. These are tavern tales. Why should I believe your stories? <laughs> tavern tales, he says. I am telling you the truth! Now, now, Mr. Athanasius, you understand that I must be very cautious. So how is it only you know about this secret bay? In this business, word of such a place would get around very quickly. Because it is a secret kept by the Micmac people and a band of whalers from San Juan. They could be very wealthy, but they have some silly agreement to respect nature and live in harmony. Uh, uh. But now I know the secret, too, thanks to the legend I uncovered in this old book. 
the legend of the North Wind. <laughs> Legends, fantasies, nothing of this holds any interest for me. Before I consider lending you my hard-earned gold, I need something more certain. I want proof, Mr. Athanasius. You want proof, you say? Here you are. See for yourself. Will you tell us about the ceremony, Martin? You never give up, do you, little one? <laughs> oh. The ceremony is part of an old whaler's secret, and you don't tell secrets. If someone overheard me talking about it, it could have terrible results. You can tell us at sea. Nobody will overhear you out there. And Elliot is coming along because we need a cabin boy. But I've told you a thousand times, there's no room for girls on this ship. But you've never told me why! Because girls have bad luck on sailing vessels, everybody knows that! If you come on board, there will be violent storms, and animals will start to talk! The world will be turned upside down! You believe all this, Elliot? Well, I'm just a cabin boy, and I have to listen to Martin. Traitors! Both of you are traitors! You have no right to keep me from being a sailor, too! <laughs> this support ship, when you need it. Well, let's say by high tide. Today? Why such a hurry? Well, you see, I have to be on board one certain <gasps> ship. No. Oh. Only one person knows the way, and he sails today. And who is that? His name is Captain Gala. Gala? His vessel, the San Juan, is making its <sighs> final preparations for the voyage as we speak. He's wise. He might not let you board. <laughs> If he knew my real intentions and that you were the one backing me, he would refuse. But if I tell him I'm a scientist in search of medicinal plants to help mankind, he'll take me on for a fee. I see you've thought of everything. Let me show you how to conquer the sea, sir. You won't believe your eyes. The fish aren't biting, poor child. Fishing poles are so passé. <laughs> You're going to be amazed by my invention. It's a way of guaranteeing your investment. My secret weapon. Magic powder, which leaves your prey defenseless. They're absolutely powerless against it. Watch this. <laughs> So you've killed some fish. <laughs> oh, they're not dead. They're asleep. Just imagine a bay full of sleeping whales. They'll be so easy to catch, it'll be child's play. It's so simple. They won't even know that we're there. <laughs> hmm. Oh, Bell, we said we were sorry. The ship hasn't even left the port yet, and I'm already sick of being a cabin boy. This disguise ought to convince him. Nice cow, pretty cow. You don't want to hurt me, do you? No, nice cow. Lola Bell, please. No! Oh, pardon me, Martin. Yes, Milo. After you. <laughs> Here, allow me! My eggs! Keep that cow away from my galley door! Are you the captain of this wooden tub? Your crew is a disgrace! No discipline at all! But now that I'm here, you'll be ship-shaped faster than a speeding beluga. With all of my years spent conquering the seven
and seas, you'll have no worries at all, Colonel Crab. At your service. Colonel, I'm sorry the San Juan's crew is complete. Oh, <laughs> without me? If Big Red Walter and Milo are what you call a crew, then you're in big trouble. How are they going to catch the wind if they can't even catch a cow? <laughs> you need me. I'll make this your greatest crossing yet. And the sooner we hoist anchor out of this port, the better. There are too many women in this village. They're bad luck. Captain, the last of the supplies are on. Huh? <gasps> uh, uh, sorry, Captain. I wasn't aware that you had a visitor. I'll come back when you're finished. Huh? Uh oh! I can't reach! And At your service, Captain. What can I do for you? You can start by accepting the fact that you're not coming with us. Do you want our ship to sink at sea? You're bad luck! But it isn't fair! I'm just as good as any boy! I'd be an excellent sailor. Oh. Better than Elliot. He gets seasick. You're gonna need me. Goodness. <laughs> Have you come to say goodbye? The dreaded pirate Barnaby at your service, sir. It's a pleasure, Mr. Uh, Barnacle. Barnaby, not Barnacle! Enough with the introductions. Let's talk about the arrangements. Barnaby, you will sail my vessel as a support ship for Athanasius. He will sail on the San Juan with Galar. Now Mr. Athanasius will take over. Mostly you'll sail at night, so there's no chance of your being seen. How am I supposed to follow you, then? I can't sail at night! Mm. No, I've never heard of such a thing! <sighs> Trust me, Barnacle, I know what I'm doing. It's Barnaby, and I never sail at night! <laughs> never say never. With my invention, you'll have no trouble finding us at night. Watch carefully. Uh, this is witchcraft! I prefer to call it science. <laughs> You'll take over the San Juan, Barnacle. Oh. Yeah. The plan is simple. An idiot could follow it. <laughs> the idiot. <laughs> Anne isn't coming to say goodbye. Oh. Don't be sad, Elliot. You know she'll show up. She's planning a trick. She can't resist, you know her. She'll be here soon. It will be something spectacular for us to remember. Just you wait. I wish she could come. Oh, Elliot. We'll be gone a long time. She'll be lonely. Here's my chance. is going smoothly. The weather is fair and the winds are favorable. We are nearing Newfoundland. Soon we should see the great whales and reunite with our fellow keepers of the pact, the Micmacs. I wonder how the world is treating them. Great Spirit, this is Watuna, son of the Micmac Chief. I ask for your help in catching a bear. Mm, he didn't waste any time, did he? He's coming towards my trap. 
That's it, bear cub. Eat the nice honey I put out for you. Pretty soon I'll have proven myself. Yeah. Not to worry. A good hunter has lots of patience. Take your time. Then push that rock out of the way with all your might. Oh, go on, give it your best effort. You can't let a rock keep you from that delicious honey. Yes! Oh, I'm really sorry, little bear. But my father won't let me in the ceremony. He says I'm too young to join the men, that I have to prove myself first. So I have to bring in a bear. That way he'll have no choice. You really got it that time. Oh, great spirit. Next time I ask you for a favor, don't be so quick to answer. Oh. 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 Bear breath! Oh. I gotta get out of here! He smells the honey! Oh! Father! Help! A bear! A great big vicious bear wants to eat me! They say the San Juan will be here any day now! Oh, I'm so excited! <laughs> I'm so nervous! What should I wear? Help! Do you remember the name of that jolly man who was so interested in our recipes? Mart! <laughs> Make way! Make way! Oh, he's after me! The great bear spirit is seeking vengeance! Father! Help me! What do now? I'm under attack! Help! The veggies! What, Tuna? Has the great spirit taken your mind? This is the third time this week! Silly boy, you've nearly broken the sacred vase again! Sorry, but I was being hunted by a gigantic, ferocious bear! Enough excuses. This behavior is outrageous and unforgivable. What, Tuna? When are you going to grow up? Mm, but that's exactly what I'm trying to do. I want you to let me in the ceremony with the whalers from San Juan. I want the village to be proud of me because I'm the chief's son! Get some fresh air. Shh, wait, Simon. Somebody's coming. A nice cold soap will kill you, Elliot. <gasps> Told them the cabin boy would get seasick. Take your clothes off. You don't want to get them wet. I think I'm getting one of my ideas. to walk around unnoticed. Elliot! Let's go see what's cooking in the galley. Aha! You see? It's the best cure for seasickness. I'm glad to see you finally here. I told you it was only a matter of time. Now, I think it's time we had a talk man to man. Are you ready? Take a deep breath. It'll help to calm your nerves. 
Many years ago, our ancestors waged a terrible battle against the cold and mighty North Wind, who was trying to destroy their world. The people were suffering terribly as their fires slowly died. But they persevered. <gasps> Luckily for them, the other forces of nature were still on their side. For just when things were starting to look hopeless, two people had the same vision. It was a glorious dream. They saw a Aww. hidden bay where thousands of whales gathered every year. They said, we must go there. For there, we will find the answer to our misfortune. Those two people were a great Micmac chief and a whaler from San Juan. Your ancestor. They sailed to that bay and caught a whale and got the fires roaring again with its oil. <coughs> with their fires restored, the people weakened the north wind. They captured him and locked oh, him in a sacred face. But the north wind had one more trick up his evil sleeve. He imprinted the route to the secret bay on the vase so that whoever owned it could return there. This is the route to the Bay of Whales, he said. Whoever owns this vase will rule the world through me. And if you should destroy this vase, I will be free, and my power will once again be supreme. With that, the Micmac chief and the whaler decided to form a sacred pact to protect the bay. They would meet every year to renew it and their commitment to protecting oh, nature's oh. balance. And this great responsibility has passed down through generations, each one swearing before the sacred vase to uphold it. Each year, the keepers of the pact vow to ask of the whalers only what they need to survive. Well, that's it. Now you know the secret, too. And now that you've got your sea legs, I'm sure you'll be a fine sailor. A fine sailor! Yeah, fine sailor! Huh? <laughs> he's just like Anne, always playing jokes when he's feeling more himself. <laughs> oh, you're back so soon? Don't tell me you're still hungry. <laughs> What a strange child. <laughs> Why boys are the only ones who can take part in that oh. ceremony is beyond me. I should have known there wasn't anyone else down here. <laughs> All right then. It's time to go to work, my little beauties. Where are they? Yes, there they are. Excellent. <laughs> Blast! Oh, where is it? Aha! I've got it. Time to go. <laughs> yes. Barnacle's waiting for you to show him the light. That's the man who put the fishes to sleep. What's he doing on board? You better go and warn Elliot, Simon. Go and warn him. He left the trunk unlocked. I can find out what he's up to. Leave me alone, Simon. I don't want to play. 
Now go and light the way for that pirate. Ugh. Where's the light Athanasius is supposed to send? Where? I don't see it! Wait, there! Neptune alive! That Athanasius knows what he's doing after all! Sometimes I hate this peg leg! Now, Sharpa, all we have to do is follow that light, and the sad one will be ours. Oh, it all seems too easy. Huh? The light already floated to starboard! Why haven't we caught up to the ship, then? You're bringing us bad luck, Sharpa. You might walk the plank yet. Uh, what's that there? Another light! Now I'm getting confused. <laughs> Let's see now. I got one light on the port and one on the starboard. Does that mean I should go left or right? <laughs> Which way? Three of these should be enough to guide him. Go, gentle beacon of the night. Hey! <laughs> oh, come here, thieving vulture! Hey, Martin! Now what? You should see the fireflies up here! They're huge! That bird's going to have to land sometime. Now there's one in the sky! <laughs> there, this ought to do it. <laughs> as soon as the shells rattle, I'll activate my canoe trap. <laughs> It's Elliot. Scrub the decks. Elliot, clean the galley. Elliot, milk the cow. Why do they call me a cabin boy if I never get to go in my cabin? Anne doesn't know how lucky she is. She's probably playing right now. If I had known it was going to be like this, I would have stayed home. It's not worth it. Huh. I wish I didn't miss her so much. If you could speak, at least I'd have somebody to talk to. Cheer up, Elliot. You're a great cabin boy. Do you think so? Of course. Now listen, I have something important to tell you. I've discovered that there's a man on board who's out to cause serious trouble. He wants the sacred vase and the map to the Bay of Wales. You've got to hurry and warn the captain. 
Oh, you're talking to me. Who else would I be talking to? Ah, she's talking! Ah, ah. Wait, the book! You forgot the book, Elliot! Uh, uh, the cow! She talks! What's the emergency, uh, lad? It's Lulu! She's the cow! I know she is, but calm down and tell me what's the matter with her. She's talking! She spoke to me! Don't pull my leg, boy. Uh, Animals don't talk. Hmm, I'm telling you, Lulu speaks! She said somebody's on board who wants to cause serious trouble. Tell me, what else did this cow say? Huh? Well inside, huh? Captain! There she blows, straight ahead! Let go! Uh, I have to help uh, the crew! Uh, don't worry. Anyone trying to cause trouble will have to get by me. Uh, that's just my luck. He must have been snooping around. Well, perhaps there's something to this talking cow business. There she is, Captain! She's a beaut! Where is she, you say? Uh, off the port side, sir! Her. Uh -oh. Baby, we don't want to catch her. We'll wait for the big one. Aye, aye, Captain. What are you doing? Who told you to go through my trunk? Nobody had to tell me I discovered your secret myself! Very impressive, but I can't let you run around telling anyone else my secrets. <laughs> Works like a charm. <laughs> Get ready, Milo! Aye, aye, Captain! There she is! Tempo! <laughs> 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 
We're gonna need a lot of it! She's a strong one! She's too strong! Set her free! Now, I'll mix this powder into the cider. They'll never know. Yes, they will. I'll tell them. Sorry, but I can't allow you to ruin my plans. What are you doing? Let me out of here! We finally made it back to Newfoundland. <laughs> Can't wait to get on dry land. Uh, oh, what a day! <laughs> Just when you think it can't get any worse. Oh. oh. What a wave. Animal. Huh? Huh? Traitor. Get me out of here. Coward. Hmm. Yellow belly witch of a cool and fire the man. I'm not a traitor or a what you call it either. My name is Matuna, son of the Micmac chief. Liar! You're a greedy Whoa. man! And you want to take away the sacred days from the ceremony! How dare you! You come out and say that to my face! Whoa. It's about time! Get him, Simon! Push him overboard! This isn't our ship. What kind of place is this? <gasps> it's a monster! <laughs> Who are you? And? And you? What, Tuna? <gasps> the ceremony! It's always the same thing. Every year I end up sitting on the cow and Walter tries to hide. That little bell sure has character. My old friend, I'm glad to see you. It's always a joyous occasion to celebrate your return. I am pleased to see you, Chief. This one was gigantic. Huge! It was so big it created a tidal wave when it swished its tail. It was enormous, I tell you! The biggest whale you ever did see. And we almost caught it too. We almost had her in the boat. Oh, but she was too smart. Drink. Drink. How about a toast of friendship? Long live your friendship! How about a toast to the renewal of your sacred pact against the terrible North Wind? Long live our pact! This really isn't fair. Why did I have to stay behind on the ship? Oh, yeah? Yeah! Would you please stop saying that I don't look like a whaler? In our village, they say whalers are men whose faces are covered with hair. 
Well, not all whalers have beards, so they're smarty pants. And anyway, you, you don't look anything like a micmac. <gasps> In my village, they say you paint your faces and wear feathers. I've had it up to here with you. Now just be quiet and help me get this whale back in the water. <laughs> oh, she's so beautiful. I think we should call her Bally. What do you think, Watuna? Shh, the music stopped. It usually goes on all night long. <laughs> You're all mine now. <laughs> Raise the flag, Sharpa. The San Juan is ours now. There is no one aboard to guard it. <laughs> this really isn't fair. The ship isn't even moving, and I still feel seasick. Oh. I don't believe it. This is all too incredible. That man Athanasius must be crazy. I know. We have to stop him. But how, Anne? I don't think there's a way out. We're stuck here. We have to get out. We can't just let Athanasius get away with this. You won. Sorry, man, this is no time to be goofing around. You should be helping us. Now drop that paddle. Paddle? Did you mention a paddle? <gasps> Whoa! Ah! Hey! This is my paddle! There must be some kind of underwater passage here. Oh, Simon, you're the best! You're dismissed, lad. Time to abandon ship. Where is everyone? Why are you here? If there's one thing I hate, it's someone who asks too many questions. Oh. Here it is, Sharpa. The great San Juan is finally ours. My piracy has finally paid off. Yeah. You won't huh? get away no. with this. Come back here. <laughs> yeah. Anymore. It's all your fault, Sharpa. You bring bad luck. <laughs> Excuse me, Barnaby, but if you're finished, would you go and sink that other ship? Yes, sir. I have definitely found my sea legs. <laughs> Soon they'll make me a captain. <laughs> Bally pulls mm -hmm. us, we get out. We get to your village, uh -huh. and we go from there. Oh. out here all by itself. Oh. Canoe? <gasps> Wait! We're saved! It's my canoe! Oh, Hurry! Oh, get oh. in! Oh. Ooh, that was close. Someone must be looking out for us. Could that be a friendly vessel? Or more pirates? Well, I gotta take a chance. 
Someone has to help me fix up this vessel. Ahoy there, mateys! Elliot, what are you doing here? Look who's talking. Come on! There's no time for talking. Just get in the canoe. I don't like the look in his eyes. Never shout at a captain! Let's move it forward! Let's go! We have a ship to catch! I can feel it. <laughs> that man's getting on my nerves. He should be down here helping us.
Forget her. Imagined. It's all thanks to you. You're mine now, forever. Let's be careful. We've got to try and take them by surprise. <coughs> Excuse me, but you do not belong here. <laughs> What? Where did they come from? It's impossible! Ah. Nothing's impossible! Now ah. I order you to surrender! Ah. Don't just turn there, Barnaby! Go and catch him! Alright, this time I've got it! You'll never catch ah. me, pirate! Do you hear me? That's what you said last time! But we always get our man, right, Sharpa? Sharpa, you've gone and ruined the element of surprise! No! Would you get back here? It's not that silly bird we're after! <laughs> Let's go, Lulu Bell! After that pirate! Sure. <laughs> Duh! I'm going to have to do this myself, see? A pinch of this and they'll be out of my way! Where did you come from? Give me my powder back! Got it! <gasps> <gasps> and 
What tuna she say? <laughs> Give that back to me now! <laughs> gotcha! Oh, oh. You give me that back and don't hurt me! You come back here, you are It's all over. Why'd you do that? We could have caught him. Because the powder would have put us to sleep if I hadn't covered us up. Look! It's the sacred face. Athanasius didn't get away. Great. <laughs> Make way for the new inheritors of the pact. Make way for the heroes. <laughs> <sighs> Our pact will survive. <laughs> it's beautiful. You should know better than to joke around a special time like this. Huh? Partners are waiting. before you can reach. Someday, we might not need their oil to fight the cold. I hope that day comes soon.